Hello, I'm Nigel Cooper and welcome to this online HD camcorder buyer's guide. I would just like to point out that these aren't in fact product reviews, it's more an overview of the camera so I can give you an insight into the unique features, who it's aimed at, the kind of productions these cameras are designed to shoot and of course the price and other things like the type of media it records to. So this camera here is the Sony HVR-Z5. Now, Sony pretty much were the first company to come to market with a HDV camcorder with the Z1 years and years and years ago. So they've got a lot of practice in building good quality HDV camcorders. Now, the Z5 is a bang up to date version of the Z1. It's got a new lens. It's got Sony's fantastic 20 times G lens. Sony built this in house. They've moved away from the Leica lenses and this is a really cracking lens. It's got superb color saturation. It's very sharp and there's virtually no CA on it at all. I love this lens. Moving to the middle part of the camera, the chips in this one are Sony's very latest ClearVid CMOS sensors with Exmor processing. Now what the Exmor processing does, apart from improving colour saturation and general picture quality, it also allows for shooting in much lower lighting levels than ever before. And you can actually crank up the, um, the gain setting and not get too much noise. So it's not like the older cameras of yesteryear where you would get a lot of picture noise. With this camera, it's a very smooth image, even in low lighting. Um, it is a Tate camera, it's HDV, we all know what that is, so it's a tried and tested medium that's been around for a long time and there's nothing new with this camera here. But in addition to this, the um, Z5 can also record to Sony's own HVR MRC1K, which is a compact flash recording device that takes regular CF cards. Now if you're recording on a device like this, it will record approximately 72 minutes onto a 16 gigabyte card. The MRC1K retails at approximately £750 plus VAT. But there's also another option. You can also record to the Sony HVR DR60, which is a hard drive device that also bolts onto the hot shoe on top of the camera. With this device, you can record approximately four and a half hours of HDV or DV cam footage. The resolution of the Z5 is 1920 by 1080. It records in both progressive and interlaced at 50i or 25p. All the switches on the camera are logically laid out and pretty much self-explanatory. It's a nice layout. You have assignable buttons which can be customized in the menus and you've also got various picture profile settings. You can set up the gammas and things like that to customize the camera to get the look that you want. The Z5 has also got a built-in standard def down converter. So you can down convert in the camera but as well as shooting in HDV mode, the camera will in fact shoot in DV cam and DV in standard F formats as well. Another good feature of this camera is on the back here, it's got a HDMI output, which means you can use a budget priced HDMI monitor to mount on the hot shoe of the camera at the top, and it means you don't have to buy expensive broadcast monitors anymore. So that's another really good feature of the Z5. So overall, the Sony Z5 is a good combination of a cracking lens on the front, really good latest CMOS clearvis sensors, and of course, it's the, pro the proven HDV tape format. It's ideal for shooting corporate work, event and wedding videography, but independent low-budget filmmakers that are used to shooting on tape will also love the fact that the camera shoots in progressive. Although the Z5 is a HDV tape based camcorder with Sony's own digital video recorders, either solid state with compact flash, or the hard drive version, this camera's got a lot of flexibility for solid state and tapeless as well as tape. So that's the Sony Z5. Thank you for watching.